After you've received the uh, OP Cloak artifact from the Shatter Gotham event, regular or elite, you have to break through uh, using three types of essence. The Minor Chaos Essence is from the Bound Daemon. Uh, you don't see it here because I've already purchased it. Once you purchase it, it doesn't show up in the vendor, but this one is 25 marks. Uh, as long as you have 25 marks in the new currency, you'll be able to purchase uh, that vendor item. Now the next essence is going to be the internal chaos essence. This is from the source of Rock of Eternity. Uh, what that means is it's the duo. So that drops off the last boss in the duo off Shazam. It has a random chance to drop that internal chaos essence uh, each time around the duo. The next one is the demonic chaos essence. Uh, this one's source is demon or daemons. Uh, basically anywhere in this DLC where you have to kill a daemon. So in Shatter Gotham, uh, in the open world content. Uh, the easiest spot to farm this is outside in front of the museum uh, on those steps where the fountains are. There's all those groups of daemons. Uh, once you kill them, uh, they have a chance to drop the essence there. Uh, this is very common. I think I farmed it in like an hour. And then basically, uh, once you have those three tiers, you're ready to break through rank zero of the Tatter Chaos uh, Lord's Cloak of Omnipotence. Uh, so go back to your Fortify window, just like you would normally in Artifact. Uh, the success chance is always going to be 100% breakthrough. You don't have to worry about Catalyst. Uh, so as long as you have the, the 50 Essence from Killing the Ads, the 5 Essence from the last boss in the duo, and the Vendor Essence for 25 marks, you'll be able to break through. Okay, so we've, we've uh, successfully broken through there. Okay, so once you've broken through the first rank, uh, all you have to do is consume it, just like you would like a regular uh, artifact. Once you click on it, you'll see the uh, NA feat come up that you've completed the first ritual, and then basically it'll drop the rank 1 of the... Uh, the OP Cloak, basically still at rank zero, just the next rank tier, and then also give you some otherworldly essence and a, and a pristine exobite. Uh, so this is basically going to be the next tier that we need to complete uh, the rank one breakthrough, which we'll pick up in a moment. Okay, so for the second rank breakthrough of the OP back, the essence you're going to require are the Gothic Chaos Essence. This drops off the uh, loot bounty boxes for the weeklies, the Shog Bounty or the Pod Bounty. You'll have a chance to get those in the loot boxes. Um, this is going to be the breakthrough of that one. The second essence you're going to need is the Children of Cain essence. This drops off the last boss in the alert, uh, Rising Darkness, off the Vampire Lord. You need five of them. And then you need one, the Raw Chaos essence. That's going to be 50 marks from the vendor, from the Bound Daemon, uh, the, the vendor in uh, Shatter Gotham there. So once you break through, exactly the same thing, 100% breakthrough chance. You'll be able to break through the technically to rank one of the OP back. And the same thing, you just have to consume it again, just like you did with the previous tier. And that'll give you the NA feat for Ritual of Darkness, as well as give you the uh, rank breakthrough for the um, the third tier that you'll need. And they will be able to pick that up once we've got to the essence for the third tier. Okay, so we're on rank three of the breakthrough, which is going to be the Sorcery Chaos Essence, Otherworldly Chaos Essence, and Greater Chaos Essence. The Sorcery and Otherworldly drop off the final bosses of the two raids, so off the Harbordringer and off of uh, Faust and Clarion. Uh, the bigger issue here is um, the Greater Chaos Essence is on the vendor for 100 marks, but you can see it requires CR268. Uh, now, each uh, Essence has a CR lock on the vendor. This is a brand new feature. Uh, you should have an issue with the first two ranks, but CR268 is a pretty serious breakthrough for the rank 3. Uh, that one is you're going to have to watch for your gear to make sure that you have enough to reach that Essence, because if you don't have CR268, you can't uh, proceed. So basically, once you've beaten the, got the essence from both raids, as well as the 100 mark vendor one, basically it brings you into the third rank tier, which you basically just consumed like you do previously. That'll get you the Ritual of Madness and give you the uh, fourth rank that you need to be able to break through for the final. And then we'll pick that up once we've gotten the rank four essence here. Okay, so we're on the final rank of the OP back. Now this one does, the Volatile Chaos Essence, it does require CR270, just like the previous tier required 268, and it's 200 marks. So 270 requires a few pieces of Elite Gear, as well as a full uh, Purple Argus set. So be careful of that, making sure you're two, uh, CR270 for that. Uh, and that's going to be where you get the Volatile Chaos Essence from that Bound Daemon then. Uh, so for the other Essence you need is going to be from the two raids, just like the previous tier, except now um, you have a better chance of getting them in Elite. So they did recently change it to where you have still have a chance to see Enhanced Otherworldly Essence. This says Source, Shatter Gotham, as well as Strong Source, Shatter Gotham Elite. So you still have an opportunity to get them in regular, but they have a, a better chance in Elite. So they're not locked behind Elite anymore. Same thing, Enhanced Sorcerer Chaos Essence has a, a chance to drop in Fellowship of the Arcane, or Fellowship of the Arcane Elite has a better chance of it. Uh, so it's not locked behind that elite wall anymore. Uh, it does make it uh, more uh, viable and available to all players. 
and that's going to be a uh, break through the rank just like before. So we'll break through this, 100% uh, success chance, there's no catalyst needed. Okay, so we've completed that, the Mundan Chaos Lords Cloak of Omnipotence. And the same thing, we just have to consume it like we did previously as well, which will give us the feat of Ritual of Chaos, the 50 point feat, and the final breakthrough for the OP back. Now the stats here for Style Lord of Chaos, which I'll show on a moment uh, what this actually style looks like. All the stat increases you see here are based off the Elite uh, 237 back, so that is a quite a large increase. Uh, in base stats, normally because it's a, uh, item level 237 to 252, uh, which is going to be uh, very handy considering that uh, the extra defense, the extra might, uh, resto for all rolls basically. So that's the 237, that's the stats there, and that's compared to that elite vendor back. So it is quite a large jump, uh, especially for DPS, for precision DPS for all rolls, uh, especially having that extra 1500 health, 1000 defense, you know, an extra 1000 dominance. Uh, on top of the 435 might and uh, the extra 222 precision as well. So it is a very nice increase as well, uh, which is going to be expected in the OP pack. So it's definitely worth the grind. Uh, it's just that um, it, it's a bit of an expensive grind just because you need the uh, the three pieces of elite. So basically, um, it's the vendor items was 25 marks, 50 marks, 100 marks, and 200 marks. That's 375 marks, which normally we have to pay for from the vendor for the collection. Now it's on the vendor essence. The only thing is, because you require 268 and 270 CR, that requires three pieces of elite gear at least, uh, as well as a full Argus set. So the Argus set was all the full purple, and then I had to get three pieces of elite gear, which is 211 uh, marks. So it's actually 576 marks for the OP back. Uh, if you want to think of it like that way, where you, you can also buy what are the three or four pieces of vendor gear to reach uh, C or 270, but this is the biggest thing. The biggest grind is is how many marks is it contributed to it. So before we're used to just having collection drops and then 300, you know, the, you know, the 375 vendor collection. Well, now technically it's 576 marks because of the CR lockout on it. So we'll show the style here. It's going to be under L, Lord of Chaos. Uh, right now I have the material equipped, so that's what it kind of looks like with the scorching material. Um, it doesn't look too good with material, just looks like a normal back. But uh, when we take off the material on it, uh, this is where it reveals that nice style. So the nice kind of inlay, the glowing on it. Uh, it does look like uh, it does look like a very nice style, uh, just without the material on it. The material on it just makes it look like a normal back style, but uh, taking it off, it does look quite nice. So this is the OP back. If you guys have any questions or concerns or questions about the process, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.